Hello and welcome to our discussion on how to record business transactions. We will use a spreadsheet in this discussion and use journal entries and follow-up videos. This video will help you identify what accounts change with each transaction. After viewing this video, you'll be able to answer six questions and determine the accounts that change with each transaction. Explain how the accounting equation changes with each transaction and identify the accounts on each financial statement that will change with each transaction. Each transaction must be recorded, summarized by common account name, and reported on the proper financial statement. Standard account names are used to describe and report what changes with each transaction. The balance sheet reports what the company has, what the company owes, and what is owned by the company. The answer to three questions will tell you what changes on the balance sheet with each, each transaction. Answer each question using the common name of the account that describes what changed. The income statement reports what the company provides to customers, the cost of services received, and the cost of using assets. The answer to these three questions will tell you what changes on the income statement with each transaction. Answer the question using the common name of the account that describes what changed. The accounting equation must always stay in balance with each transaction. The income statement accounts change owner's equity. Revenue is an increase and expenses is a decrease. Revenue's less expenses gives profit which becomes part of retained earnings and is included in owner's equity. Let's go through one transaction and use the questions to determine what will be reported on the financial statement. The first three questions relate to the balance sheet and the last three relate to the income statement. Employees work this period and the employees will be paid at the end of the next period. The company does not have more or less of anything. The company owes employees. The owners were not directly involved with the transaction. No goods or services were provided to customers. Employees did work and provided a service to the company. And no assets were used up. An account that represents employees is owed called salaries payable and an expense that describes employees worked, salaries expense, will be reported on the financial statements. Let's look at another transaction and go through the questions again. Employees who worked last period were paid in the current period. Answer the questions for the current period only. The company has less cash because the employees were paid. The company owes less because the obligation or liability from the last period is now paid. There was no direct exchange with owners and goods and services were not provided or received this period and an asset other than cash was not used up. Cash and wages payable will be lower on the balance sheet. Nothing will be reported on the income statement. In this example, the company provided goods to customers who did not pay cash and will be billed later. The company has more accounts receivable and less inventory. One asset was exchanged for another. The company does not owe and the owners were not involved in the exchange. Goods were provided to customers and a revenue sales will be reported. A service was not provided to the company and using up the inventory creates an expense called cost of goods sold. This is a four part transaction. Sales and cost of goods sold will be reported on the income statement and the balance sheet will report less inventory and more accounts receivable. In this transaction, common stock, which is shares of ownership, were sold to investors. The company received cash from the investors and gives up ownership to the investors. Nothing is owed. Customers are not involved in this transaction. Services were not received by the company and no assets were used up. The balance sheet reports more cash and more common stock. Nothing is reported on the income statement. 
The next transaction is the receipt of an invoice for advertising in the local paper this period. The company did not pay for the service this period and therefore owes the local paper. The liability will be reported as accounts payable. The owners were not directly involved. A customer was not involved. A service was received, and advertising w expense will be reported in this period. An asset was not used up, and items the company has did not change. The income statement will report the advertising expense, and the balance sheet reports the expense has not yet been paid as a liability. The company purchased inventory on account. The company has more inventory and did not pay, so they owe for the inventory. The liability is reported as accounts payable. There was no exchange with owners or with customers. A service was not received by the company and no assets were used up. The balance sheet reports more inventory and more accounts payable. The company purchased a warehouse by paying some cash and agreeing to pay the rest in the future. The company received a warehouse and gave up cash. The company owes, which will be reported as notes payable. There was no exchange with owners or customers, and a service was not received, and no assets were used up. The balance sheet reports more cost in the warehouses, less cash, and more notes payable. The company received payment from customers who were provided goods in a previous period. The company now has more cash and less accounts receivable because the customer no longer owes the company. The company does not owe. Customers and owners were not involved. The goods were provided in the prior period, not the current period. A service was not provided and an asset was not used up. The balance sheet will report more cash and less accounts receivable. Nothing is reported on the income statement for this period. The company paid dividends to owners or the investors. The company has less cash and does not owe. The exchange was directly with owners and dividends reduce retained earnings. The answer to all the income statement questions is no. The company's balance sheet will report less cash and lower retained earnings. The company made a payment on the note for the warehouse. The company has less cash and also owes less. The answer to the other four questions is no. The balance sheet will report less cash and less notes payable. The company paid the current month's rent on the corporate office building. The company has less cash since cash is paid. The amount owed does not change since the rent is for the current month and it was paid in cash. There is no exchange with owners or customers. A service was provided to the company, the use of the building. This will be reported as rent expense. An asset other than cash was not used up. The company will report less cash on the balance sheet and more rent expense on the income statement. The first three questions change assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. The last three questions change revenue and expense. All revenues and expenses directly change owner's equity because profits go to the owners. Let's take a closer look at how the transactions change the accounting equation. In this transaction, the company paid the employees for working during the current month. The company has less cash and has more salary expense. Expenses reduce profits and are always reported with a negative to the owner's equity side. The accounting equation is in balance. Let's change this transaction slightly to the employees worked and have not been paid. A service was provided to the company as the employees worked. An expense reduces profits and owners get the profits, therefore the expense also reduces owner's equity. The company owes the employees and the accounting equation stays in balance. Cash received from investors increases what the company has, cash, and also increases ownership. This transaction is done directly with owners. The accounting equation stays in balance. The 
company paid cash of 12000 and purchased equipment. In this transaction, the company has more of one type of asset and less of another asset. The accounting equation stays in balance. The company purchased inventory on account for 15000 In this transaction, the company has more inventory and owes for the inventory. The liability is reported as accounts payable because inventory is purchased over and over again from suppliers. The accounting equation stays in balance. The company sold products that cost 10000 to customers for 16000 on account. Selling goods to customers is our four-part transaction. The goods provided to customers is sales revenue, and this is exchanged for either cash or accounts receivable. On account means no cash, and accounts receivable increases. The inventory provided to customers is used and decreases, and using an asset creates an expense. Inventory used is called cost of goods sold. One asset is exchanged for another of greater value. The higher sales revenue than expense creates a profit and profits go to the owners as part of the retained earnings which increases owner's equity. The accounting equation stays in balance. After viewing this video, you should be able to answer the six questions that will help you determine the accounts that change with each transaction, explain how the accounting equation changes with each transaction, and identify the accounts on each financial statement that will change with each transaction. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. Practices you learn will give you examples of everything we've discussed in this video. Working the practice test will help you verify your understanding. Check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.